Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals, it's Ask Dave. Here's a great question. It's a common problem people run into when they take a, a photo, capture a photo with their camera, but then they're trying to output to a standard size at a lab or on a, a particular paper size, something like that. This question uh, actually came in from Juan Carlos, who said he's trying to print a 16 by 20, but his size doesn't match up. And how can you deal with that without cropping? And the problem is, well, you really can't while keeping it in the right ratio. So here's one solution that I use quite often when I'm trying to make sure I have my photo fit the right size for an output size like 16 by 20. So I would make a new document and put in the size I want, 16 by 20. For the resolution, depends a lot on the lab, 300, 250, 240. I'm going to use 240 in this example. And if your lab gives you a particular direction in terms of color space to use, do that too. But in this case, I'm really just sort of focusing on the getting the photo in there. So there's a couple of options now. Uh, if you have Mini Bridge and CS5 and you have a camera raw file, then you can just drag and drop right from Mini Bridge. It's still going to open camera raw. So I can make sure that it's big enough. So I'm not going to lose any quality and this is an image I've already worked on, but of course, if you hadn't, you could also apply your settings and click OK. It applies those settings and it's going to bring it in. And then you can see it's got the free transform handle. So if I hold down two keys, the shift key to keep it in proportion, and then the option or alt key to go from the center outwards. If I want to keep the full width of the photograph, you'll see the top and the bottom because the ratio just isn't the same. The top and the bottom will, be, will have all that extra white. So I really just have to scale it up big enough to say, well, that's to fit the height and then I'm going to lose something on the width. So I hit enter and now within this I can kind of move it around to decide where I want to place it, maybe something like that. and then. I need to save this in a format that the lab or whoever I'm printing will work with. Now, just to be sure that I don't end up sending a file that's too big, once I have it in the right position, I would tend to merge down, Command or Control E, and that's going to make sure there's no kind of extra pixels lying on the sides, and then I would choose Save As to put it in a JPEG. And I'm just going to undo this and delete this to show you if you didn't want to do it that way. If you had a file and just wanted to open it, now I'm surpassing camera raw. In this case, I did a shift double click in mini bridge just to open the file. So the same theory would apply. Now you just drag from one image to the other, hold down the shift key. Now in this case, it's again telling me it's not quite big enough, but I should still be able to enlarge it up a little bit without losing too much quality. Now if I have to enlarge a lot, then that's going to be a bit of a problem. So the same thing applies here. I hit enter, get it positioned exactly where I want it to be, and then merge down and save as. And just to reiterate, this is just a reality of the different format, the way that the camera pictures, the ratio is bigger than so-called standard formats like 8x10 and 5x7 and things like that. Now, if you look closely, a lot of labs like MPix have formats that are a more standard size for the camera like in addition to an 8x10 they also sell 8x12s for example so that's something to consider now the other part of the equation is finding a frame that fits at by 12 but that's a whole nother story anyway that's one approach to take when you're trying to make things fit to the standard sizes that many labs use if you have a quick question you'd like me to attempt to answer here on ask dave you can if you're a twitter user you can go to at dave cross and send me your quick question that way or right here on the Kelby TV website you can look for the contact tab fill in the contact form and once again send me your question and I'll do my very best to answer as many of them as I can. I'm Dave Cross. See you next time.